Welcome back, bookworms. This is Mrs. K. I'm glad you could join me. Christmas and Hanukkah are over, and New Year's is right around the corner. With so much on the calendar, no one has time for Reese's birthday. Mom is busy, Dad is working, and her brother Charlie is no fun. December birthdays are the worst. It's time for Reese to take charge and make sure she is celebrated on her birthday. With a little magical help, will all her wishes come true? Let's enjoy the magic of reading as we read together. A birthday fairy tale written by Megan Pagetti and illustrated by Yuliana Simakowska. Am I the only one who sees it? Reese asked. No one had mentioned her birthday was tomorrow. Tomorrow! December birthdays are the worst. Reese's loose tooth rubbed her tongue as she strung beads with her brother Charlie. One final touch, Reese said, holding out the biggest, shiniest bead. Mine, Charlie said, grabbing the bead out of Reese's fingers. Charlie grinned as he placed it on his pipe cleaner. Reese slumped. She did not feel like battling over a bead. Rummaging through the container, she found the only glow-in-the-dark butterfly bead. Perfection! Reese dashed away, ready to show it off. Mom was distracted. Dad was working. No one cared about her bracelet. No one cared about her birthday. No one cared about her. Alone in bed on her birthday eve, she sniffled. How could they all forget? Reese rubbed her beads and wiggled her loose tooth with her tongue. With tears in her eyes, she whispered, Maybe I should just pack up and move to the treehouse. She tiptoed out of bed, pulled out her suitcase, and put on her favorite dress. Stuffed animals? Books? Fairy wings, my tutu. Wait a minute, I can't forget my tooth fairy pillow. Aha, she bounced from toe to toe. There must be a birthday fairy too. How can I bring the birthday fairy to me? The glow of her perfect butterfly bead caught her eye. Of course, my bracelet. Reese crept into the hall and stood at her door. She hugged the bracelet and whispered a wish. I wish, I wish with all my might for the birthday fairy to come tonight. Leaving the door cracked, Reese yawned and shoved her suitcase under the bed. Snuggled beneath her covers, hope was all she needed to enter dreamland. When the sun peeped through the window, Reese's eyes fluttered open. It's more than I dreamed, she squealed with delight. Toilet paper tails flowed around the room as if silently singing, happy birthday to you, ready for Reese to spin through like a tornado, or better yet, treasure for days to come. Once her excitement bubbled to the brim, she gracefully escaped to find Charlie. Charlie, Charlie, come see my room. The birthday fairy came. The birthday fairy came. Charlie's jaw dropped in awe at the toilet paper tangled room. No way. There's a birthday fairy too? He squealed, but Reese had already danced off to find mom and dad. Mom, dad, Reese sang, sliding into the kitchen, only to discover no one had forgotten her birthday after all. 
You've made your wish. I'm on my way. Zoom through the night for your birthday. Up and down in your room I'll sail. Over and under till you're fairy tailed. enjoyed this story, please check it out at your local library or buy a copy from your favorite bookstore.